All right, we're moving into part eight here. Um, slight trigger warning, I guess. I don't really know, because uh, if, if you guys know, if you guys have seen the first Thor movie, you know what happens, so nothing too crazy, but anyway, um, yeah. Part eight. Even in the depths of the universe. I'm not making it up, Cowder. A lot has happened. I sigh, sitting on the patio with my brother in the hot sun. Yes, Thor really was banished to Midgard, and Sif and the warriors went to find him. He misses the mortal woman. What a pile of horse droppings. He can't really like a mortal. I'd rather not talk about it, Cowder. It's all real. And did your friend really send a destroyer to kill Thor, the rightful king, and his brother? We aren't talking about this again. You want to go for a dip in the lake? Swim laps? No, thank you. It's summer. You're supposed to be outside. I am outside. It's in the library archives, brother, says Thor calmly. Perhaps you should consider that Sif and I have just as much right in here as you. Perhaps you should exercise that right. Doing mindless swordplay all day, at least I'm learning something. You need to get outside, brother. Get some air. And deal with you and Sif and whoever the rest of your worthless friends are? Do you expect me to stoop so low as to be around such beings? Loki, I don't care. Don't do that. I said put the books down. The voices echo in my head as I try to remember what happened afterward. I think Sif and Loki got into some sort of fight. Then Loki said Thor and Sif were getting naughty. I smile slightly, remembering the joke. I left something in the library, I say, standing up, feeling slightly dizzy. The space stone, rumored to be the ancient, an ancient relic from before the dawn of time, a blue stone encased in the Tesseract, currently lost on Midgard, can be used to open wormholes and passages through dimensions. Time stone, whereabouts unknown. A bright green stone that can manipulate the very folds of time, traveling to the past or future. The reality stone, known as the ether, a reddish liquid substance, whereabouts currently unknown. The mind stone, a small yellow stone which can control minds, whereabouts unknown although rumored to be in the possession of one of the space titans. Soulstone Orange, whereabouts unknown, rumored to trap souls. A person must kill one they love to obtain the stone. Power Stone Purple, whereabouts unknown, lost somewhere in space. A stone that has the ability to destroy, to destroy planets, together in combination with the Infinity Gauntlet. The wearer may, be, may bear unlimited power over the universe to create, to destroy. And that's where our, my notations end. The research was far from extensive, but it's a jumping point for my free choice essay. I began to write on paper. Long ago, before the universe itself, there were six forces that had the ability to create and destroy the universe and life as we know it. Infinity stones are a fascinating unknown, ripping apart the fabric of reality, creating creases in the folds of time and space. Ingrid? I look up suddenly and can barely make out the figure in the dim light. Thor? Prince? Or are you king yet? Not yet, he sighs. There's a lot of cleaning up to do, and Father thinks it best that I wait after. After what? Well, I did get banished. He walks over to the bookshelves and begins scanning the rows of books. What are you looking for? Oh, just some text to better prepare for my kingly duties. I always found reading extremely dull anyway. What is that book? I'm writing an essay on Infinity Stones, Thor. Nothing special. I try to hide the book under my desk, but he snatches it out of my hand. Hey, I need that! I sigh, defeated, and put my papers back in my bag. I suppose I need a new topic. You didn't get banished. I mean, it wasn't your fault. Yes, it absolutely was, and don't make me feel worse about it. I can feel the silence beating down as he thumps through the book slowly. Give it back, please. It's for research. Did you write notes in here? No, of course not. It's a library book. I'm not supposed to write in it. Did someone write in it? It looks like Sif's handwriting. Yeah, sounds like her, too. Always defacing the library. How is she? I'm sure that Sif is just fine. Yeah, I'm stupid. I shouldn't worry about her. You aren't stupid. Yeah, whatever. It's not your fault. I know. You told me already. You think I don't know everything? I'm not that dumb. No, not that. Not about your banishment. Give me that book back. Why? Because I'm researching. Well, there's no use arguing over it. He reaches to rip the book apart, then slowly sets it back down on the table. And there's no good in destroying good material either. Looks dull, pointless anyway, but I'm sure it's of use to somebody. Hey, Thor! Sif, be quiet. What are you doing here? You be quiet. There's another feast. Oh, hi, Ingrid. Her face flushes as she shoots Thor, which says, Why is she still here? Why are you still talking to her? 
just biding your time until you see your girl again? He's clearly reading the look. I miss Jane. Oh, Jane this and Jane that when you have me. No, Sif, I don't love you like that. I mean, you're a great companion. It's just girl slap. She hits him right in the face. Then again, another Thor demands, bring it. I have Mjolnir. Don't hit her over the head again, Thor. I can hear myself screaming over all the memories playing in my head. It hurts. Yeah, Thor, snaps Sif. Is this your new kind of punishment as king or what? No, it's what I do when you drive me crazy. Shut up. She has him pinned against the wall. You don't tell me what to do. I will when I'm king. The room falls silent as Sif falls back. I'm sorry. Are you coming or not? The feast? Yes. I have some work to catch up on. And why does father keep having feasts anyway? I don't know. Maybe he's just glad for the kingdom to finally be at peace. What are you talking about, Sif? Thor's voice is rising again, and I know where this is going. I feel so sick to my stomach, and even thinking about a feast. Nothing. Just, you know, if recent events. Shut up, Sif! It was my fault. I let them in. Well, you're a terrible liar. Sif puts her hands on her hips and advances. But I'm not afraid of you. We're the ones who brought you back in the first place. <laughs> we went against orders, committed treason, and convinced Heimdall to let us pass. If it were not for your return, all of Jotunheim would be dead. Genocide. Cool. I never said. We had to, Thor. It was the only way to ensure peace. Took guts to just break the Bifrost, too, you know. Whatever I did. You didn't do anything, and besides, I think you saved an entire realm. So maybe be a bit grateful to this girl. That this girl brought you back. Sif winks and turns to go. Oh, and I'm sorry about Loki. At least I can sleep at night now. Shut up, Sif! No, I shout, trying to conjure a simple shielding charm that I'd, let, that I'd seen Loki and Queen Frigga use a thousand times, but it backfires and I fall to my knees. Sif knows it's coming, and she dodges the blow with ease, but the floor begins to split open. Put that thing away! You're gonna kill somebody! I need a spell book, I say as calm as I can, walking over to the other shelf. Not just anyone can conjure... A storm, you know, yells Sif from across the room. Both of you come to this feast or else. Loki wouldn't want you to fight. I try to keep my voice level as the entire room begins to f feel inverted. Bang! Smash! Stop! I screamed, just dropping the books I was carrying. Stop destroying the library! Any sort of emotion I've been holding back lets loose as I lunge towards Thor. Trying to grab onto his cape. Guards! Holly Thor, come quickly! The prince is in danger! I fall back quickly, my eyes stinging with hot tears, and look for a place to hide before they show up. I could have handled it myself, Sif, says Thor, dusting himself off. He turns to the approaching guards. The girl meant no harm, and I will pay for the repairs to the library. And I'll be taking that book, thank you. Sif has it now and is holding it high over her head. I need it for research. I'll give it back when you two promise to stop arguing. Us arguing? You're the one who stopped me, you're the one who slapped me, Sif. It's okay. I'm sorry. Prince Thor, you may take the book. I told you, you can drop the title. None of that changes. I'm sorry, Ingrid. Take it. He tries to seize the book from Sif, but he doubles back and puts it behind her back. Let her have it, I sigh, as Sif stands up and holds the book high. Fine, I don't want this stupid book anyway, says Sif angrily. I just want Thor to stop going on about that woman as the book hits the floor a neatly folded piece of paper falls gently from the pages alighting on the floor delicately like a butterfly dear ingrid i am sorry i didn't tell you the truth sooner i was scared of a reaction but mostly scared that something would happen to us once you knew and i was afraid of, of myself but i but you knew that i am saying that i can't stop it what i am doing and it's a danger to all i know what father will say what he will do I could be banished, Ingrid. It isn't worth the humiliation. I don't want to be reminded that I am a failure, and I always was. I am Jodan, and that means I am a monster. I'm sorry if I make you worry, Ingrid. I don't know what will happen to me, what happens in space. That sounds strange, but I am saying that falling is only scary when you see where you are going to land. I only know, I already know I can't win. Thor is a special character. I meant everything I said. 
I do not know what will happen, where I will be in the universe, so consider this a goodbye for now. I must thank you, Ingrid, for everything you have done for me. You truly are the best thing to happen to me, and the only person who understands me. I don't know anything, Ingrid, but I know I will always love you. If I don't see you again, I will leave you with this book and note to remember me by. I have included a very special gift on the final page of this book. It is a riddle, and I tell you to read between the lines. The riddle will will lead you to where the special thing is hidden. It will give you a power that no one has ever held besides myself, and you must not tell anyone about it. Do you understand? I don't want to finish writing this, but I have to at least try one more time. This note is for if I fail to impress him. I am sorry to be so cryptic, but I'm not going to just leave my favorite relics out in the open. You're smart, and I know you'll figure it out in time. Keep reading. L. Laffison.